Tuesday started off active, just had some energy, made a smoothie, did some pull-ups. My pull-ups have shifted a little bit and doing, instead of doing 10 sets of 10, I did seven sets of 15. I'm finding that, especially with pull-ups, but with all the, the movements that I've been doing, having a full week off in between, I feel really rejuvenated. And so did pull-ups on Tuesday, the week before I did them on Monday. So I had a full seven days, full eight days to recover. And I find that when I do that, when I go back to it, I can do larger sets. The 10 has set in. And the last few times I've done it, I've been playing with this set amount. I've been doing like a set of 20 and then a set of 10 and then a set of 15 and then a set of 10. And, um, but it feels like I've, I've upgraded to be able to maintain sets of 15 until I hit 100 reps. I might up that to just 10 sets of 15 and do 150 reps. I'm not sure. I was pretty fatigued by the 105th rep, so we'll see. I'm also just taking time. It's not like I mentioned in one of the previous videos that I might do this over an hour or two. I think I did it over three or four hours. Just walk up, do a do a set, go do something else, go meditate, go whatever. That's been good. Zen is sick. He's got the snazels. So I went to the vet and got a got him some medicine and he does not like me putting because I have to syringe it into his mouth and I got a little recording of him not being into that. I did a meditation where his name's Master John Douglas. I think I mentioned this one other time. Um, where his whole thing is like a group of angels kind of download energy into your field and they can target different parts, subconscious, emotion, spiritual. Um, and so I did that for about a half, 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And that really shifted energetically where I was. I was, I think, a little bit more scatterbrained, not super present. And after that time, I just, the mind was way more quiet. My energy was just way more clear. It felt good. Then I went on a walk and Played the game of presence probably in a more potent way than I have. One of the more potent ways that I have thus far. It is really with my capacity to pair my feeling to my seeing. And what I mean by that is in the game of presence, in being in the room, one of the primary things that I'm trying to do coming out of the mind is couple my experience of reality and of my five senses to sensing, to feeling, to energetic sensitivity, to emotional sensitivity, to sensory motor and decouple it from thinking. So when I look, there's a chair. When I look at it, is it something that I think about? Ah, oh, it's a chair, it's white, Zen's been pulling at the edges, so it's starting to fray, it's kind of dirty, it's, but I can describe a chair, AKA I can describe a reality, or can I feel what I am seeing? How does the chair impact me energetically, emotionally? And I notice that when I really just stay with it, there's a little tension that releases in my stomach. I really start to notice how the light is hitting different parts of the chair. And when I look at the part that's dark, I kind of have a more numb feeling. But when I look at the part that is light, 
there's a almost a happier vibration or a sense of as vibrancy. Those are two very different experiences of the chair. One is analytical, one is categorizing labeling. The other one is a felt experience. And that in large part, or at least, yeah, let me say large part, is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to couple my experience of reality with feeling so that I can sense reality, I can feel reality, I can feel what it's like to be alive instead of just thinking about what it's like to be alive. I can feel the unfolding of the universe, of the great mystery, instead of thinking about it and trying to figure it out, which my mind does either way. But the more that I can feel into it, it yeah, comes along with a very different experience. I become much more present, much more embodied, connected, yeah, calmer. I can feel my own energy channels much deeper. So I played that a lot at the end of, of that day. I made a little artwork on Canva. It says, feel what you see. Now it's the background of my computer. And then I went to the beach, watched the sunset. I wound up getting food. I wound up driving and, and, and picking up food and going to watch the sunset. I haven't done, that might have been the only time that I've actually gotten food out thus far. I've been cooking everything other than on Sundays. It was nice. I felt like I was breaking the space kind of, even though I never explicitly said I would or wouldn't get takeout food. I just, I'm trying to avoid junk food. And this was not the greatest, but it wasn't the worst. Yeah, so the second half of that day was really awesome. 